यू आर वॉचिंग ट्रेवल वर्ल्ड ऑनलाइन Good morning, His Excellency. Your Excellency, what a traveller can expect in Azerbaijan? Please tell us a little more about destination Azerbaijan. It is an emerging tourism destination for Indian tourists, because if you look back, I mean the pandemic years, I mean two years, we do not count. But before that, in 2017, uh, the number of visitors from India was not that much. Then 2018 it increased drastically and again increased in 2019. Very popular. It was increasingly popular and the number of visitors from India uh, to Azerbaijan in 2019 reached 65,000. But I believe, I mean, if it is not for pandemic, that would have come drastically higher, up to 1 million Indian visitors. So, Azerbaijan, what it can offer to Indian tourists? Divine cuisine, the wonderful, beautiful streets of the magnificent Baku city, the city of uh, lights, uh, the cozy um, restaurants uh, in the old city, which is on the uh, UNESCO World Heritage List. The beauty of the Sheki Palace, Han Palace in Sheki, which is also on the U UNESCO Heritage List. The beautiful Candy Cane Mountains. The Candy Cane Mountains, because they are red and white striped, like the Candy Cane, and white circles around them. Very beautiful. Must be. The must uh, to visit the mud volcanoes. The mud volcanoes like you're on another planet. And this is a very rarely on the world met uh, mud volcanoes in Azerbaijan. There are a lot of them and uh, people go there. It is uh, also useful for skin diseases. So they, they take mud with them home and uh, apply it to the skin and uh, it's beneficial for the, for the health and uh, for, for the skin diseases. In Azerbaijan, you can uh, have the tourism destination year round. Summer, autumn, spring, winter, we can always offer something interesting. In summer, it's beautiful beaches of the Caspian Sea. In winter, you can do skiing in the Shardag Mount mountain resort. Trees are colorful, uh, red, yellow, green. So uh, magnificent. In spring, when the nature is awakening, it is also beautiful. A lot of uh, flowers, a lot of um, resorts are opening up uh, after the winter period. So in Azerbaijan, you can have a year-round uh, Destinations. destinations for tourists and what is more important is that now in pandemic uh, period the internal tourism is developed and with development of internal tourism those regional uh, areas are also being developed and are waiting for inter international tourism to open then the international tourism will not come to the capitals and the uh, areas around the uh, major cities, 
but they will go into the villages and into the regions of Azerbaijan where infrastructure is developed and waiting for international tourism to happen. To happen. Connect to another corner of Azerbaijan. A small country, you can cross it from one corner to another in a car for eight hours. So basically when you visit Azerbaijan, when you come to the capital Baku, within the two and a half, three hours drive you can visit several neighboring cities also. And there are very attractive uh, places to see, like I said Candy Cane Mountains, it's two and a half hours drive. The mud volcanoes are also a two hour drive from the capital. The Atashkah Fire Temple, half an hour drive uh, from Baku city. The burning hill, Yanarda, which is burning literally centuries and centuries, day and night. Half an hour drive from Baku city. So, I mean, there is a lot to visit and to see, and that is why Indian tourists increasingly choosing Baku as their tourism destination. And not only tourists, but also Indian weddings came to Azerbaijan, and film industry came to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan was very popular for film uh, shooting location. His Excellency, you know, uh, our relations are swing trees for this not India and Azerbaijan. I was told there are testimonies of it. And um, some temples and where you, you were. So can you tell us, our uh, viewers, a little more about that? Our, uh, relations have a long history and uh, Azerbaijan was on a spice route going from India to European countries. And many Indian traders, they visited Azerbaijan, they stayed there, and even the Hindu temple, Atashkah temple, was established in Azerbaijan. And this is inscription on the Atashkah temple. It is a photo from it. So there are inscriptions in Sanskrit and in Punjabi, and uh, it shows that uh, Indian and Azerbaijanis had long history of friendly relations. And now we are just building on it. And the movie industry of India is loved all over the world, and in Azerbaijan in particular. And that is why uh, Azerbaijan is getting known to Indian audience through Indian movies. And that is why uh, the, I mean, the, it is very important that Indian filmmaking houses were coming to Azerbaijan to do the shooting. If you look back in 2017, there was not a single Indian movie being shot in Azerbaijan. 2018, four movies. The one was uh, by uh, Vishal and Tamanakh. Uh, the movie's name is Action. Very good movie. And they show you London, they show you Istanbul, but it is all being shot in Baku, in Azerbaijan. Uh, very popular. And then Radhe, Salman Khan, had to come to Azerbaijan in March 2020 to, sh to shoot certain segment for his movie Radhe. Uh, but at that time, pandemic started. <laughs> the embassy is actively participating in all this film location festivals and fairs, and uh, tries to have, uh, in partnership with relevant film companies of Azerbaijan, a pavilion dedicated to Azerbaijan. So in order to encourage the film making companies come and do filming in Azerbaijan, the government is working on the rebate on the rebate to compensate some of the expenses like uh, incentive for film, film tourism policy. Film tourism policy, exactly. To stimulate it to come uh, and do filming in Azerbaijan. And most Indians are vegetarians too. So please tell us, uh, your viewers, that I'm also 100% uh, vegetarian. So can I survive there? Uh, do not worry, <laughs> you should uh, come and taste our cuisine. It's divine cuisine, we are also food lovers. 
were great food lovers in Azerbaijan. Baku city, you see many Indian restaurants, vegetarian, vegetarian and non-vegetarian. So there is a, a line of uh, meals offered for vegetarian uh, visitors, as well as non-vegetarian uh, meat eaters. So basically, you should not worry. The vegetarian cuisine is very rich in Azerbaijan, and uh, a lot of varieties of uh, fruits and vegetables grown in the country, they allow for a, a richness of vegetarian cuisine. So you would love it there, and once you visit, uh, you will have uh, long-lasting memories. You are watching Travel World Online.